Hello and welcome to Lundy. For those who have not tuned into my channel before, it's just me starting my running journey a few months ago and entering those events and just having fun. Okay. Oh, thank you everybody. Managed to find a little crew of these gorgeous women. Um, uh, on the boat over and we are now at Lundy Island about to start the race so it was a two hour boat trip over here and um, pretty rough and choppy is what I would say so little miss I never get travel sick ever don't need to take any tablets I was actually sick on the way over so um, it's now 12 o'clock and I have I now literally have nothing left in my stomach so um yeah it's going to be an interesting uh non-expected fasted run i think is the way to describe this one but the scent is just starting to make an appearance so it's looking super good and apparently the message out of race hq yesterday was that there's puffins to be seen and they've told us whereabouts they are so hopefully going to spot loads of wildlife and it's going to be this amazing adventure. So let's do this. So not long after arriving, we get started with the race, which is super exciting. And I just want to cash you back to the beginning of the weekend where it all begins at Ilfracum in De North Devon. I arrived on the Saturday and stayed at a campsite uh, a mile or so outside of the town. And this was our departure point for the boat. So it was a gorgeous day on the Saturday. It was a really gorgeous place to explore. I had some lovely food and managed to get a really good night's sleep ahead of our arrival at Lundy, which, as I mentioned, was a very eventful crossing over there. My parents were due to uh, take another boat across to the island and they actually uh, had to turn back because the conditions were so bad. So, um, but even still an absolutely stunning um, island and the weather certainly turned out for us on the day as you will see as you continue to watch the video. Oh, like, nice way to get warm up. People are used to running. I need to run what I can today because I'm I'm above seventy, so I don't know at what point that's going to make a difference if at all. Because it's not massive, no one's going to turn to my partner. Hopefully, my body's decent. So, those who've not heard of Lundy Island, which mostly people I've spoken to in the last couple of weeks don't know, is a tiny little island off the coast of North Devon, about 20 miles off the coast. And it's about three miles long, half a mile wide. So, today's route, we are going from the south of the island up through the middle to the north. Following the east coast path back and then going back up through the middle, following the west coast path back on the little loop to finish. 
So, what a great way of seeing the whole island and all the nature that it has to offer, which, yeah, includes the really amazing little talking bird, which we should see. So, fingers crossed. I just need to um, bring my awareness to where I am at Soak It Up. It's a bit too in my head at the minute. Being very aware, I've not had the best friend. But right now, I'm feeling good. This is me and I'm shocked. Face today. Because the reason I entered this race was to be here on the island and experience it. So that's what I need to It's a really cloudy, really cold start to the day and a really, really choppy two-hour boat trip here. What a reward this is. Only three miles in. Base station, made it to the island. Now we're back. And bonus points for me today. I had my disposal, my little pod walk up.
so just coming back down the very edge of the island as you can see and totally out of the wind and sun blowing down so it's been very hot but we're spotting loads and loads of seals which is awesome section on that bit. A couple of runners in front of me slipped down the side. Um, which is okay fortunately but concentration needed and just in the background oh, over there is the lighthouse. That's the turnaround point for making our way back up the middle. we're going to be given a wristband or something at the lighthouse and we won't get a medal without one to prove that you've been there and gone all the way to the end of the island which seems funny to me because I don't want you to come and do it and not go all the way there but hey -ho. I'm psyching myself up. Okay. six miles in, this is what we're greeted with. Thank you.
love it when an A station has watermelon. It's just like so refreshing and hydrating. So, about mile six, we're going to make all, our way all the way down to the lighthouse now and then start looping back around. Amazing! So welcome to the west side of the island, which as you can see is significantly more windy as it's exposed to the Atlantic and very much needed after the, the heat and the shelter of the east side. Keep hugging the edge of the trail to see if I can spot birds and seals and stuff. Super enjoyable. So as you can see from the little flags, this is a really well marked, well marshalled course. This is my second event with Outer Edge events. I also did Race the Tide with them and I've also got the Dartmoor Crossing coming up which is also with this company. I um, highly recommend the courses are always really easy to follow some amazing locations and I can only imagine the level of organisation that has to go into something like this and um, always amazing events so a shout out to them and please do go and check out their other events. So, made it to the lighthouse. Got my wristband to prove I did it. Look at the steps on the way back up. Feel like it. Nearly 10 miles into a race, this is so, so cool. But, made it to the end point. And then it's three miles back. And there are some puffins flying around down there. You might not be able to see them. Yeah. 
Uh, I think my face is like, all at this point. That was a pretty tough uh, climb back up. But we are now into the last three miles and it's exceptionally windy on this section, but really stunningly beautiful. So enjoy. Turning to a battle I wasn't expecting, which is my stomach to it's almost like it's cramping over on itself. It just feels like I like the core of my body just is curled in because my stomach's actually really painful and so my whole winning posture is like hunching me over and it's making it really hard to just breathe and so this last couple of miles has just like I just want to be done which is not the energy I came into this with but with every mile from about mile eight, my stomach has been getting worse. So, fingers crossed, once I've stopped, it gets better. So despite not finishing it quite as strong as I would like to have done, what an absolutely epic place to come and run. And it was an absolute privilege to be able to be part of this experience and be one of, I think, between 250, 270 runners who took part in this once a year event. And it was stunning. Highly, highly recommend it. Thank you. Great job out there. Thank you.